All right, we're going to start something easy. Your first and your last name. Spell it. Mm -hmm. Carlton Wright, C-A-R-L-T-O-N-W-R-I-G-H-T. And your title? Director of Bands at Alabama A&M University. All right, awesome. So, um... Am I looking at the camera? Oh, you're just looking at me. Okay. So, about this student, Jessica, what do you know about her? Well, Jessica was a very, very nice young lady. She came to me when we f formed our media team. We were looking for students to uh, join our media team, preferably students in telecommunications. As telecommunication, let me start that over, bro. All right. <laughs> Jessica White uh, was, a very, was a very nice young lady. She came to me as a, I think as a sophomore interested in joining our media team when we first started our media team for the university bands. So she sat down and interviewed for the position. I was very impressed with her. She was very thorough, very complete on everything that she answered. So she won my heart as, as a new member on our media team. Wow, like um, what's so unique about her, about her passion? Her personality, she was just really outgoing. She was thorough, like I said earlier. Um, if she had any ideas that she wanted to run by me, she would call, she would knock on the door, anything that she wanted to do. It was just always a pleasure to talk to her because she had some great ideas and implementations with our program and it made things a lot better as far as our media team is concerned. All right. What did she do in the media? The uh, she did quite a few things. She did the video. Uh, she did the uh, still photograph. Uh, part of it, and uh, she also did editing. Uh, and from what I understand, that editing is a monster. That's the most difficult part of being on the media team because there's so much work and time involved with it. But she worked around the clock to make sure she got a good product out for us. Nice. And um, you know, over the summer she passed away around that time. And um, are y'all doing anything special for her? Absolutely. I, I contacted her father. Um, well, actually, I went to her funeral in Little Rock, Arkansas uh, this past summer and um, met her family. And uh, it stayed on my mind to do something for her. So I got with my boss, Dr. Talley, uh, Barack Talley, Vice President of Student Affairs, and I told him that I wanted to do something special for the family. So actually what we're going to do tomorrow is do a tribute to Jessica at the end of our halftime show. So um, we're going to release some balloons. Uh, we're going to uh, post her picture on the scoreboard, the Jumbotron, and um, have our announcer to uh, give a brief uh, biography about her and uh, have her family come down and uh, present them with some things as far as Jessica's concerned. What was going through your mind after you heard, heard about this? Oh, I was hurt about her, her passing away. I was hurt, shocked, um, you know, um, found out from one of the other former media team members that she had passed away. And then the phone calls and text messages just started rolling in. So it was, it was always a uh, sad feeling to lose somebody so young and so, so, talented and sweet as Jessica was. And from what I'm hearing, it's like she's the head of the media. Yeah, she was She was top dog, and she she made sure that everybody was in place doing everything that they were supposed to do. And um, with, with all things, there may be some conflict here and there, but she was able to use level head, her level head, to just resolve those conflicts without blowing up or getting all upset and things like that. So she was a special person. Nice. How is the media team now? Media team now is, is rolling along. We have a new guy, uh, Xavier Jones. He's a former member of the band, and he's the head of the media team now, and he's picked up the pieces and, and kept the ball rolling and uh, put out some much better products than in the past. Not to say that um, the past media teams weren't doing what we needed them to do, but you know he's a professional at this, and so we, we hired him to take over this task force. Awesome. If Jessica was sitting here right now, if she's facing... To you, what would you say to her right in front of her? I love her, and that uh, she is one of those people that you want to have in your corner. You want to be around Jessica all the time. She's just that kind of person. She she's just made the room light up. Awesome, and um, for the students that's in the band, like um, what was? What was going through the, the, 
what was going through the student's mind here in the band? Like, what, what was going through their minds? About her passing? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Well, like I said, a lot of phone calls and text messages came through, and most of those were from band members and, and the media team, our band family. And, um, you know, they were hurt. Uh, one of her best friends, uh, Cameron Williams, actually worked with her down in Orlando uh, as interns uh, or whatever, and Cameron was the first one to reach out to me and, and told me what was going on, and it started spreading like wildfire. Amazing, amazing. Um are y'all doing like any type of awareness or support donations? Because I know y'all doing a tribute of her at the field, but are y'all doing anything else? Well, that's that's a great idea. We haven't thought about that, but that's something that we can put in motion uh, for epileptic sufferers, epileptic seizure sufferers. I can't get the word out. Please don't do that part. Uh, for those people who suffer with seizures, we can uh, look at doing something like that in the future and uh, tagging Jessica with that. Awesome. Is there anything else that I kind of missed out? Anything else you want to say? I think that's pretty much it. Um, no, I, don't, I can't think of anything else. We covered all the bases. Do we need to do any retakes? Because that was kind of sucky. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you did just fine. Okay. Luckily, this, ain't, this is not live. Gotcha. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> so...